Just looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now, head on over to my sponsor, AOEAH.com. They have super cheap coins. You can get a million for such a steal. Head on over, and of course, if you use code Poodle, you can get a discount off your order at checkout. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over a bunch of updates. The Holiday Zero Chill release part two, which does release uh, tomorrow. They did do a pretty large reveal today of a lot of those players. But overall, just a lot of stuff I do want to go over. Some updates, some fixes, some controversies that were going on. Now, before we get into the video, if you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, give this video a big thumbs up as always. And of course, guys, if you want to check out Underdog Fantasy, I do have a code and link down below for you just for the subs for you guys to go ahead, use it. You get up to a free 100 bucks on Underdog Fantasy, which is pretty much a better version of DraftKings, in my opinion super fun and with all that free money you have sitting there you can pretty much go ahead and just keep playing for fun without having to actually use any of your own hard-earned cash right nonetheless first off benson mayoa they did update the times to seahawks cam i guess people were asking about that here updates we keep reiterating this i want to keep reiterating it because a lot of people will keep asking it reminder during zero chill the content holds the content releases our weekly ones will be put on hold and these are the ones team of the week wildcard wednesday and ltds they will not return until the week of january 11th 12th 13th like that day span right there series redux do come tomorrow and zero chill missing sets so here we go yarn collectible this set is going to be being added just something to add there and then um, there is also going to be the other one, which was the NAC, uh, the NCAA T92. They said they did hold it back so people wouldn't go ahead and use all their ornaments instantly on that. Just a little quick note there. Height gate. Massive controversy online about JC Jackson's height. So Madden made him 5'10", I believe. But according to the Patriots website, he is 6'1". Now, the reason that they had to address this is because a lot of people believe that pretty much EA just picks their own heights and they don't go off what's online. But ratings like height are pulled from an NFL's player combine data. DraftScout.com confirmed by batting's rating adjuster team chemistries for mutt are pulled from pro football reference secondary positions are pulled from pro football reference so there you go so this is nfldraftscout.com this is going to be their official height and everything else there so that's where they pull it from so jc jackson from nfldraftscout.com was five foot ten and then here roger craig it showed that he played fullback in his first four seasons so they changed the secondary position to fullback right so pretty much that's just showing you guys that now on the Patriots website it does show that JC Jackson six foot one. So take it as you will. They're telling you where they get it from. So there's consistency there. It's not like they just take it sometimes from there, sometimes from here. They all get it from the same place. Um, player release two comes tomorrow. These are frozen LTDs, challenges, missions, sets, and house rules. These are what we're going to be going over for tomorrow. So zero chill gold is the low overall players. You got Mason Rudolph quarterback for the Broncos. That's interesting. Um, Am I blanking here, or is he on the Steelers still? Uh, I'm pretty sure he's still on the Steelers. Uh, we got Tristan Viscano, Viscano, Ben Skarnick, Robert Alfred, Colt McCoy, Saron Neal, Ryan Griffin, Troy Reeder, Ike Bodger, Raymond Johnson the third, Trinity Benson, and Adarius Washington. He's gonna be a low overall golds for the promo. So guys, start off, we got Devonta Freeman, 83 overall halfback. 87 speed, 80 excel really isn't horrible for an 83 overall halfback. Not going to be really usable in any facet. We got Ed Oliver, defensive tackle for the Bills. Block should end power move below 80. This card is trash. Josh Gordon for the Chiefs. 91 speed, 90 jumping. He has decent catching, and he has pretty horrific route running. Um, I don't really see a use for him. David Long Jr., cornerback. He gets borderline 88 man powered up. Uh, with a Strat card on a Ram Steam team as maybe the fourth guy, he may be decent. Cam Newton, middle linebacker. That's interesting. So... Out of position Cam Newton at linebacker. He will get an 89 speed, 89 excel, 89 hit power, 87 block shed. Not going to be great because he doesn't get the hit power, block shed, or zone. And he's not exactly the fastest. And he's a linebacker, but still a really cool card. Devo Samuel at halfback. 92 speed, 93 excel, 89 agility. Um, no trucking. He does get decent change of direction there. It's decent. It's fun. I don't think it's like a you know meta card, obviously. Jack Fox. Punter. Kick power 91. Kick accuracy 86. Decent punter, not bad. Griak Grady, Jarrett, right end for the Falcons. 94 power move, 92 block shed. 92 tackle, 93 play rec. Great end. 73 speed, going to be way too slow. You're going to get him and you're going to power him up. Put him at defensive tackle. Do not actually use him at right end. He should have a secondary position there as well. 
DeAndre Hopkins, wide receiver, physical archetype. That's not too great. Only 92 speed, so he's way too slow. But he will get all route running threshold as well as all catching threshold. So he's going to be a really good route runner, really good catcher. The problem is he's only 93 overall. He doesn't look too crazy. And his speed's only 92. So that means he's like three speed behind everyone else. Or at least two speed, right? Shaquille Griffin. Griff Griffin, yes. 93 speed, 92 excel, 93 zone. Um, Right there alone. He'll get 94 speed powered up, 94 zone. He'll be usable on a Jaguars theme team. Lejerry Sneed will only get the man threshold, but he will get 94 speed. Again, on a Chiefs team team, really good by himself, not the greatest. Quandre Diggs, he's going to be the top guy for this drop. Free safety for the Seahawks, that's interesting. Only 92 speed, that's going to hurt him. Uh, at this point, I want to see at least 93 speed, but he does get 95 hit power, 95 zone. So he's going to be a big hitter. Great zone with 90 man, 93 pursuit. Kind of looks like Jamal Adams, if I'm going to be honest with you guys. Very similar to a Jamal Adams card where he gets like the zone man hit pursuit everything but the speed's never the, the highest it's usually like one or two off the highest but Jamal, this card looks really good quandre Diggs is not a bad card at all pretty decent i don't like the name like you know it's not like it's not jamal adams right it's not one of those names where you're like oh cool um he does get a secondary position at strong safety and cornerback so take that as you will there as well right that is cool he could play cornerback as a cornerback he's probably pretty insane actually i don't know um you put him at cornerback even though he's only gonna be 93 speed maybe it's worth it with that he'll have 96 hit power 96 zone with the man pursuit play wreck everything he'll be a beast in the cornerback spot um seattle seahawks and lines of course next we have the new solo zero chill winter's tail the mutt cracker suite so you go through this guys you're gonna get mutt 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 mist tree ornaments you're gonna get more snowflakes another random present as you go through it um zero chill sets of course he's going to be the sets for tomorrow with sneed uh, jared hopkins now there's another guy here that is covered we do have Quandre Diggs, the Hopkins, like I said, the Garrett. Uh, we have a house rules tomorrow. So the sh show off house rules, the ugly sweater contest continues. Big plays earn big points. You'll net 12 points for 20 yard offensive touchdowns. But your opponent will score on every interception or fumble. Rack up wins to earn ornament, snow, and yarn. Yarn is that set that I showed you guys earlier. So for every 20 yard offensive touchdown, you get 12 points. But your opponent will score on every interception or fumble. Okay, so... 12 points for 20-yard offensive touchdowns, 3 points for an interception or fumble. No special teams. So here we go. So it looks like for the top reward, um, it's going to be a 92 overall player. So here we go. 1 win gets you an 80 overall ugly sweater player. 5 wins gets you 2 random presents. 10 wins gets you yarn. 15 wins gets you an ornament. 20 wins gets you yarn. 25 wins gets you a medium present. 30 wins gets you a 92 overall end cat out of position player. So 30 wins is really, really going for here. Then it's 5K snow, ornament, 5K snow, medium present, 5K snow, 285 plus your joke players. I mean, if you're going to play through it and you're enjoying it, it's one thing, but I really don't see it needs to play it beyond 30, even if you even do want to play it to 30, right? Next, guys, we have Tom Brady out of position scrambler archetype. Cannot be powered up. This card is pretty cool. It's 85 speed on a Tom Brady card with Scrambler. That means I'm pretty sure he will get a Scape Artist. So Tom Brady with the Scape Artist, if only his medium and deep were also 90, that would have been super cool. And he does come with Hot Rod Master, Threat Detector, and Set Feet Lead. So he has pretty good abilities. But oh, that, that's the problem. He comes with abilities. So I don't think you can put a Scape Artist on him. The point is, he's fast. That's what I meant to say. He comes with abilities. But that's pretty cool. That's, that's pretty decent. Now, if you keep looking, guys, it does say Tom Brady has a 3,000 spot unlock after. I wonder what that's for. They did not specify, I don't believe, on the stream, but that is interesting. That's about it for the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell. Give this video a big thumbs up, as always. Comment down below. And, of course, if you want to check out Underdog Fantasy, my code and link down below will net you guys up to a free 100 bucks. Thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace.